This episode is brought to you by Vonage. Your business needs more than an 800 number. With Vonage Voice API, you can provide the call experience your customers expect and get the data your team needs. From call analytics and virtual assistance to automatic speech recognition and text-to-speech in multiple languages. Your customer service team can help more people in more places. And with in-app voice, your customers can easily contact you the moment they have a question. Take your calls to the next level with Vonage Voice API. Learn more at Vonage.com. At KPMG, it's people who make the difference for their clients. With talented teams leveraging the right technology to uncover insights that illuminate opportunity. KPMG advisors embed themselves in their clients' business, working together as true team members to help grow and transform their enterprise. Ready to make the difference together? Visit their website at visit.kpmg.us backslash transformation to learn more. Welcome to the Mysteries of the Paranormal. I'm your host, Allison. Here, I'll talk all about mythology, folklore, and cryptids. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Mysteries of the Paranormal. Today we're going to be talking about gremlins. So, a gremlin is a mythological creature similar to a fairy or goblin that we will talk about in a later episode. They have their origins during the Second World War, in which they are said to cause havoc on an aircraft, a trait which they have been continuously given since their creation. Though in time they're destructive, Nature has come to include almost any type of technology. This creature was invented to explain malfunctions in aircraft and later in their machinery processes and their operators. Deceptions of these creatures very widely tell stories of them and references to them as they cause especially inexplicable technical and even mental problems of the pilots were especially popular during and after as mentioned before, the Second World War. It is said that the gremlin showed humanity how to create machinery, leading humanity to an invention, boom, an industrial revolution. But humans showed these little creatures neither recognition nor any acknowledgement. This angered the creatures to the point that it would sometimes sabotage man-made machines, leading to breakdowns and accidents sometimes to fatal results. This creature is said to have haunted and sabotaged aircraft during the Second World War in 1942. An article in the Royal Air Force Journal mentions gremlins as the cause of accidents that occurred during flights. One Air Force crew and swore that he saw creatures tinkering with the engine before a malfunction caused the bomber in which he was flying to lose altitude rapidly, forcing it to return to the base. Their acts as sabotage causing engine failures, electrical malfunction, communication, shutdowns, and bad landings, freak accidents, and pretty much anything else that could possibly ever go wrong with an aircraft, which sounds like an airman's worst nightmare. Although their origins are found in myths among airmen, claiming that gremlins are, of course, sabotaging the aircraft, the folklorist John W. states that some people derive the name from the Old English word germane to vex while Carol Rose in her book Spirits, Fairies, Leprechauns, and Goblins, an encyclopedia attributes the name to a prominent of Grimm's fairy tales. An early reference to the gremlin is an aviator. Pauline in a 1938 novel with the ATA women with wings where Scotland is described as gremlin country and mystical and rugged territory where a scissor welding gremlin cut the wires of biplanes when unsuspecting pilots were about. In another article by Herbert Griffith, the servicemen's fortnightly Royal Air Force Journal dated in April 18th in the year of 1942 also writes the appearance of gremlins although the article states the stories had been in existence for several years 
with later recollections of it having been told by the Battle of Britain Spitfire pilots in as early as the 1940s. The concept of gremlins became popularized during, of course, as mentioned throughout this episode, the Second World War, during the Royal Air Force units. In particular, the men of the High Altitude Photographic Renaissance units blamed gremlins for otherwise inexplicable accidents, which sometimes occurred during their flights. Gremlins were also thought at one point to have enemy sympathy, but investigations revealed that enemy aircrafts were having similar and equally inexplicable mechanical problems, in which gremlins were portrayed as equal opportunity tricksters, taking no sides in the conflict, but acting out of their own mischief for their own self-interest, and in reality just to grow their own self-esteem and deflecting blame. This led John Hazen to note that the gremlin had been looking at its own new phenomena. A product of a mechanic age, the age of air, the concept of gremlins as a scapegoat was important to the moral of pilots according to the author and historian Marley Breezy. Well, I just want to say thank you for listening to this amazing episode. If you know more about this, please feel free to let me know. I know that there is a movie about this, which I do plan on listening, or I guess watching to, watching, listening to, watching to, well, you know, whatever. Yeah, I plan on doing that. So I do have, plan on having a bonus episode on that. Until then, stay tuned. Love you guys. If you want to DM me about your favorite episode, what I can improve on, what you want to hear more of, creatures, mythology, folklore, feel free to DM me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok at Mysteries of the Paranormal. You can also email me at themysteriesoftheparanormal at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. And until then, see y'all next time. You can find this podcast at The Mysteries of the Paranormal on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Be sure to tune in every week for a brand new episode wherever you get your podcast or at roguemedianetwork.com. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.